about your home to help you conserve energy when you're away, but also to create um, a comfortable schedule for you when you're at home. Um, when you are at home, we do things like the nest leaf and our time to temperature, which displays here, and we'll tell you how long it's going to take to achieve that temperature once it's learned it, to help guide you towards energy savings. Okay. Um, is really that it frees you from programming hassles. So several studies say that anywhere between 50% and 90% of thermostats actually are not programmed in this country because it's too complicated and difficult for people to figure out how to do it. Okay. So the idea here is that you teach Nest well for the first week, you turn it down before you go to bed, you turn it down before you leave the house, and it will learn those preferences and create a schedule for you. And that schedule will help conserve energy while you're away. So one of the things it learns to do is auto away in addition to the leaf and the time to temperature I already told you. The other thing you can see is your energy history. So when it starts to learn what you've done, it'll show you how your energy history is changing from day to day. So clearly no one was using it and then you can tell it's showing you a person was responsible for that or a way was responsible for saving energy. So the idea here is that we believe that by giving the consumer bits of information in an accessible way, we can help engage them in a category that actually controls 50% of your energy bill for most average households in the U.S., which is hugely expensive to have no visibility into that. Um, in addition to it, of course, you can also control it from your iPhone. This will just take a second to wake up. You can control it from your iPhone. You can control it from a computer. You can control it from an iPad. And um, that's, you know, for me, like yesterday, I left the house and I forgot to turn my heat off. And so I was able to, once I was in the car and not have to stop, go back in the house and do that, I could go ahead and just make the change on my phone and have it reflect in my home. So we, you know, we believe by making the experience really simple and intuitive, we can engage customers. The other fun thing we actually did was also through the use of design and materials. Um, you can see that this is now reflecting what I did on the phone. Through the use of design and materials, we actually can pick up on the wall color. So here it's wooden and here you can see it's actually picking up more on the white color from the wall. Um, just because we want to blend into people's home, but we don't want to be another, you know, standard thermostat on the wall. So that's kind of what we're all about. And is is the app the app is only available for uh, iOS devices? The app currently and uh, for the next um, few weeks is just for iOS devices, but we are coming out with an Android um, support uh, in the very near future. And how does it, how does it, can you adjust, you know, how the temperature when you're away, what the temperature will be, um, and, and do you have a lot of control over the, the settings, you know, um, when you're first starting it up and it's learning about yes. how? So the way that it works is when you initially set it up, it's going to go through, it's actually going to go through and ask you, ask you some questions. So you connect it to Wi-Fi and then it's also going to ask you, what's your preference for your auto away temperature? So a lot of people have asked about pets. If you have a pet and you don't want it to turn down too low, you can set your auto away temperature to be at a, a temperature that is comfortable for your pet. Um, so we really try to give the consumer as much or as little interaction in the category, in, in the product as they want to have. So, um, what happens if the first week that you're away is a very odd week and you're not home the same times that you're normally home and or you have a grandmother in town who wants it really warm and or, you know is it a, how how easy is it to readjust it once it's set so the first week is what we call an aggressive learning schedule and after that for the weeks after that it will still learn but it's going to be learning more based on patterns of behavior if you do not um, if you want to um, go ahead and change something that you saw happen in the schedule, you can also go into the schedule at the device or again from, from the web client or from your phone and go ahead and change that schedule. So for example, you know, if I saw, let's see, I wanted at 5.30 p.m., I can add a set point pretty easily. If I find this set point and I want to remove it, for example, you said that I had a grandmother adjusting it all the time, we make it as easy as possible to also go ahead and use it as a, as a uh, programmable thermostat. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome.